People in South Nashville are fighting back against a safety concern they say has plagued their neighborhood for years. They say trains often block the only entrance in and out of the neighborhood. Tonight at 10, a look at what they're doing to try to change the situation. It's a pretty isolated neighborhood and we're really close to the city still. But people who live in Sadler Village in South Nashville have learned being isolated brings problems. If there is a train, you know, on either side, you're, I mean, you have to wait. As you can see on this map, CSX rail lines cross the one entrance to Sadler Avenue. When trains stop on the way to the Radnor switching yard, people like Chris Shuffleton are unable to reach their homes. I personally get stopped at least three times a week, I would imagine. Sometimes, like just a few weeks ago, residents who live along the dead-end street are stuck for hours. One, two, three, four. They're trapped. Four hours. On top of the delays come concerns about safety. We actually had a fire um, down here this way a couple of months ago. And if if you're talking even five, 10 minutes, um, that's that's somebody's life. That's somebody's house. That's their possessions. As frustration builds, neighbors have started documenting the delays, but haven't seen any changes. I feel like in the last couple months since I've been here, it's gotten worse. For Chris, the inconvenience prompted him to move out. Our lease ends in October, and that's really my main thing that I'm looking for right now is making sure I can't get stopped getting in and out of my house. But others are still holding out hope the situation improves. A spokesperson for CSX said the company is aware of the situation and is constantly working to make adjustments to prevent trains from blocking the road.